bearing in mind it's a work in progress and it's the very first large property that I've ever started to decorate first first time truly trying to decorate in the game I am bitten by the, the housing decorating bug, but I am really trying to keep it in check. Um, <laughs> because I can, I can, I really can see the beast it can become. Well, <laughs> first thing I bought with um, event tickets was the, the cake, Jubilee 2020 Jubilee cake housing. This is my humble abode. Brighton Springs to me. This character's never been here before. That's all the all the achieves. Lighting decorator. I need to bring all my characters, all my low level characters here. That's funny. I'll just, I'll just wait for these achievements to finish. There you go, done. Okay, so yeah, my very first time of um. Um, yeah, decorating. I, well, what do you start? I've never had to show people around. Like, um, here's the entrance from back of the entrance. I don't know. <laughs> first thing I did when I got here was um, very first thing I did was I put in the fishing a fishing pole and a fishing place, spot for fishing. No push, but. Threw in a few static. Definitely had to go and buy those those trees, like just gorgeous trees and vines. Are really spectacular. Um, this is my latest work in progress now April 25th is it I think I should know <laughs> Brain Defence Force Australia we we um, remember our Anzacs from World War One they call Anzac Day which is a New Zealand Alliance <coughs> and this year all our Anzac Day Commemorations have been cancelled. So what I thought I'd do is I'd actually build something in game to uh, memorialise, if you like, the Anzacs for Anzac Day. On Anzac Day and other Remembrance Day, um, we use the red poppy to signify remembrance, as well as a sprig of pine from the Lone Pine. And we also use a purple poppy to remember our war animals from all campaigns. I'm being a veteran myself, army veteran. Yeah, it's my, I suppose, it's just something I want to do. I wish I could make an Aussie flag and, uh, you know, a few different flags. That'd be really awesome. So this is the beginning of my my um walk into my anzac memorial um you can see i've got the pines here uh symbolic for us i 
basically and I've got the red poppies at the base of this tree surrounded by good what I'm going to call the unknown soldier we all have an unknown soldier I believe to pay respect to and that resemble you know and that and that signifies any any or those that We also have the um, burning flame, so it's like a signal. Is it never? That, you know, the fires are burning back home for you. So my my two part to the memorial is the uh, grave of the unknown soldier amongst the red poppies, and um, the fountain being the memorial with the um, the flame. watching over is the warrior I've still got more I want to do here so I will uh, try and do a bit more that day proper and I'll uh, actually hold a service hold an in-game service or when I say service uh, it won't be a religious one it'll be it literally what I will do is I'll actually get odes and written works dedicated memorializing fallen living so that's yeah that's my my really yeah, my my it's I need to keep it pretty simple it's not you know it can't be too too hard it's just keep it simple okay back so I didn't, looking back I Using the the statues for symbolism, um, what they are, it's just symbolism in general. Again, trees, vine, stuff. I actually want to get all factions banners and put all faction banners up not just I have characters in all factions I've got this piece I've got this piece and I absolutely love it so I thought I'd create a little fernery some rockery and, and make it a little feature in the back of the It's again, it's it's keeping it fairly simple. That's my approach. Pretty. This is more more of these awesome trees. Okay, so I, I've got. I'm going to put more vines up here. I'm creating a bit of symmetry. Putting trees on each side, just, you know, all that sameness, all that balance, pretty much. Our Imperial Horse. Again, just um, busts and 
Watchtower. Watchtower's pretty cool. I dig it. Thought I'd put a big ass fire up here. Couple of drones. Sort of, I don't know, supposed to come up and overlook everything from afar. I haven't gotten into the um, building house and all that sort of stuff yet. I'll, uh, See how I go with that. Yeah, statues can never get can can never get enough statues. Yeah. The house dog, the guardian. Got a couple of um, stations here. Just do it to get a few more, but it mainly my. Um, Provisioning, blacksmithing, balcony. Just that I've got to get wool crafting out. And they're they're but they're just the basic one. For some reason, I still use whatever zone. If I'm doing roots, I'll just use the zone. Now, inside, sort of struggled with this initially. I, I, um, yeah, I didn't, didn't, um, didn't have a clue to tell you the truth. Sort of looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, this was my true, if I lived here, how would I have this set up? Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my washing machine in the background. Look out. Oh, mates, what's in the ceiling? Oh, that needs, no, the ceiling needs painting. So, basically, the, uh, I, I literally just put all my, um, the, you know, the rewards or whatever they are when you do a zone. Threw them on the wall, just as trophies, obviously. Uh, and just started doing that. And let it let it sort of go from there um, I, I want a dining table I'm going to put a dining table in somewhere like I've got this po pokey little thing here and I've got the chest as copper of course yay um, and you've got to have a chimney and of course the, the bear rug you might want one day one and the replica jubilee cake oh deactivate that bad boy so that's the one i got got that yesterday five tickets this is my lard is it the, is it the lard larder entry so i've got to fill this out and uh, i'll Put a butcher's bench in and in a baker's area, so I'll just I'll um get this up. Not really a, a prime focus on me at the moment. Like uh yep, get something for it, I'll throw it in here. So yeah, just Going to plant. Oh, it's hot. But it, pretty simple. Um, bit of mood lighting. You got your. Um, oh, look at that. More, more symbolism, more than um, you know. Like a lot of this stuff is. Yeah. What do you do with an area like that? I don't know. 
paintings. Oh, statues. Yeah, I've got a new statue. New statue. Okay. Guest or guest quarters. Temple. Licensing. Yep. So what this room's gonna be. No idea. Um this is the main bedroom. Woe's Woe's blade. Blade of woe. Be crooked looks crooked. Blade is a little bit. Things that go bump in the night. Um, nice hot bath. Lovers. It's not straight. <laughs> Such fun. Uh, this is um yeah that this is humble abode. Man, that washing machine's noise. I think I've actually got gallery. Whoa, look at that. Place it. Where? I don't know. Sometimes I think things like this in the bedroom are a bit creepy. Oh, can no more collectible furnishings. Does that mean I need a bigger house now? That, that's what that means, doesn't it? Can't have any more collectibles. You can tell. I don't know how to tell what like. Ah, here we go. 